Hello. How are you? Would one of you two be interested in doing an interview before you do your run? Um, sure. Okay. Yeah. Who's interested? Oh, let me, can I tell you what, I, what it is about first? And yeah. then you can decide. Mm -hmm. So, I have a timer here. I set it for five minutes. We select a belief that you've formed in your mind that you're really sure is true. Like, karma is real. Or, uh, I've seen a ghost. I check my horoscopes daily or weekly or whatever and I think that it's in line with reality okay. it doesn't have to be about supernatural stuff it could be about politics or what your views are on GMOs or stuff like that if you want but what I found though is when it's a belief that really influences who you are those can be the very profound ones and I just ask questions I want to like understand mm -hmm. Mm -hmm how you formed it, how did this belief get in there and why do you maintain it? What makes you think that it's actually true? I would go with one that, that I try to ch check my horoscope daily or weekly. I love it. Uh, I've never done that talk before. Can I, is it okay if I record it? Yeah. Okay, right. are you cool with it too? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Do you share the same belief too? No, I don't really believe in karma or horoscopes. Or I do believe like in that. horoscopes. We can talk about horoscopes. Yeah, well that's, Okay. Okay, what is your first name? Monica. I'm Anthony. Monica. Monica, okay. Yeah. Okay. Just in case our understanding of what a horoscope is can vary, can you define what it is? I think I know what it is, but just so I make sure I understand, like, you said you believe in horoscopes. What is a horoscope exactly? I believe it like it depends well obviously like when you're born like about the date it it just aligns i feel like it aligns with um the, planet. the planets and the galaxy so i it, i guess it influences kind of like the way you are because whenever i read like my characteristics and like my strengths and weaknesses like it goes with my personality and i can and it, i even ask people or like i'll tell people to read about it and it really it most of the time it describes me. Okay. In most, most sense. Most of the time. How often do you check your horoscope? Uh, two or three times a week. Okay, wow. So you do, you, you do believe that it's true? <laughs> yeah, I do. Okay. And then, um, so you check it, let's say, two to three times a week. And then most of the time, what you read in the horoscope matches with your personality? Or does it match yeah. with what, what's happening to you? Um, not like a hundred percent, but you you can see that you can relate to it a little bit, because it's very like vague. It's just like a general idea, mm. but according to what I'm going through, I can like kind of like relate it. Like if I if I'm having a tough week, uh, because of whatever reasons, sure. Like it'll tell me like you're gonna have a rough time. It it won't tell me like why or, or how, but it'll tell you like okay, this week it might not be like yours. And usually I don't check it. At the beginning of the week, like, I'll do my whole week and then I'll go back to, like, the days before. So I won't let that influence my week. Oh, very yeah. smart. Okay, that's interesting. Because then I, I feel like then I attract the negative vibes or the positive vibes or whatever. I, I'll just jinx it. So oh, okay. So I'll check it, but I'll check, like, days before. I don't check, like, the day of or the yeah. following days. Mm -hmm. So, so and you, just, like, you set wait. aside like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday's horoscopes mm -hmm. and then like around Thursday or Friday or the weekend. I check those. Yeah, I don't You go check back them. to Monday. Yeah. And then what, ta how, take me through it. Like what do you do? Like let's say it's Friday mm -hmm. and you're pulling up Monday's horoscope. What 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 are you thinking? What's happening? What's I'll read it. What's your process? I'll, like I'll read it and I'll be like, well, can this like relate to what happened to me on Monday or this week? Or like it'll be a Sunday and I'll read the week that I had. Yep. I won't read the following week. Yep, yep. So I won't let that influence me or I won't be like just agreeing mm -hmm. to it because mm -hmm. I think it's true. So like I kind of like, I let it happen and I go back. Okay. And I, I kind of like check the, the similarities that I had. Yeah, yeah, okay. And when it comes to like character in general, like my sign, Scorpio, it definitely describes me. Mm. And I've asked people about it, and it is my personality traits. Can I get a sense of how sure you are that horoscopes are are accurately portraying 
They're, they're an accurate representation of your week. Zero to 100. Um, probably like 50 to 70 percent. Like, not, not completely, but it'll be like between 50 and 70 percent. Mm hmm. Are you like at that range right now with regards to that working? Mm, yeah. Okay. I can say that. Yeah. Okay. About 50 percent. I guess I'm wondering when it's a weekend and you're now pulling up the previous week's mm -hmm. horoscopes how have you determined that your brain isn't looking for patterns and then telling yourself that ah this horoscope is accurate and it really is the that's horse always the possibility and i've always had a doubt that that might be it but i feel like same thing with like um, religion. I feel like we just need to believe that there is something, or I like to believe that there is a relationship. Mm -hmm. It might not be completely true, but I like to believe in it. Okay. Generally speaking, we got like less than a minute. Generally speaking, is it a good idea for people to believe that things are true solely because they like to believe that it's true? Up to a certain point, you can get obsessed with it. Like, when it becomes an obsession, then that's a problem, but it's good to have, like, a belief. Mm. That's what I feel. Mm -hmm. That's my belief. But not take it to the top, you know? Yeah, because I'm thinking, like, if you if we had to go to a doctor or something, let's say that you had to go to a doctor, would you go to a doctor who actually studied medicine and trained or just like to believe that she was a good doctor? No, I lay it on facts and science. Okay, gotcha, mm -hmm. okay. Is there any way that we can test this belief? Have you ever thought about, on Sunday, pulling up a completely different, are they called star signs? What are those categories called? I don't even know. Your, your zodiac sign? Yeah, what if you pulled up a completely different zodiac sign on, on the weekend? And then you started going through the same process and saying, I'm going to just see what happened for this completely different zodiac sign. And you actually started finding patterns and being like, well, that's a really good description of what happened to me this week. That could be it. I mean, because like when you read it, it's very like general, obviously. Yeah. Uh, so I guess it kind of tries to relate to like every person or like the what they go through on a daily basis. Mm. But... I mean, I could try this and next time and see if I can find something similar to it. That would be interesting. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you very, very much. That was cool. <laughs> that was great. I love the topic, and I've got a card. And uh, if you want to chat again, I'll give you a card, too, even though we didn't talk. It's thank got my you. email on it. Thank you. I really thank you for your time. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.